Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the basics on how to data log with Uprev or Ecutech for your tuner or me or just for yourself. So go ahead and connect to the car. Obviously we're using Uprev right now. Pay attention to the status bar. Sometimes it does take a while to connect. Uh, I would say at the most just wait 30 seconds before restarting your laptop. So it's still searching for the ECU. And there it goes. And now we are connected. Over here, once again, you have your ECU part number. And we're going to go ahead and look for logging and tracing, which is right here. Go ahead and click that. Once again, the car is already with the ignition on, everything's connected. You can go ahead and maximize that window there. And your parameters are on the right. So what you're gonna choose depends on your tuner. Every tuner might have about 80% of the parameters are the same between all tuners. Some might have more, some might have a little bit less. You know, just depends on your tuner on what they want to see at the moment. And you could just do that by checking and unchecking the box. And you can also adjust some of the side panel view through right here. So that's totally up to you. To start recording and logging, just hit the red button, which is the record button. Everything you clicked shows up on the screen. So it's showing and recording at the same time. And on the right side, you can add more parameters while it's recording if that's how you want to do it. And you can see it's showing the values live. Now this ECU is again not connected to the car itself it's outside of the whole car it's not on the chassis so that's why you might see some zeros or maxed out values so if you want to stop recording just go ahead and click that red button again so that same button records and stops recording once you stop recording you can go to file and save save the log and you can send that to your tuner also if you want you can hit clear log if you're still using the logger it'll remove everything so if you didn't save it it's not going to save and I'm just gonna uncheck some things right here and show you that sometimes the name will stay there the parameter but it won't show you the values you can actually close the logger at any time just make sure to save it if you need to save it and we're gonna stop the logger right now and you can review what you recorded through here but again if you close it it's not going to save the info you have to manually save the log each time you want it saved so once you close it the info is gone you have to repeat whatever pull you did in order to do the log again and view it and hopefully you save it that second time so we just close the logger right here after that, you can go ahead and send me or your tuner the log. We will review it, send you a new file. You can download that file from your email and upload it with this button right here. And that's it for the Uprev log. Let's move on to Ecutech. I'm already connected to the vehicle. There's actually two ways to log it with Ecutech. We're going to start off with the laptop. So the software is obviously already open, connected to the vehicle. So go ahead and go to file and open custom ROM file, which I already have one open. So this is the ROM file. So you actually won't have this maps tab. You won't have the file properties, I believe. That's only for tuners. You, however, you will have the live data. That is the data logger. With Ecutech, it's a lot easier. It already automatically selects everything the tuner needs to see. If there's any extra things your tuner tells you, you go to all and you can select some of the extra things there. Normally, we most likely will not tell you to do that, but there's definitely a possibility depending on certain situations. We might tell you to select some extra things. Normally, we won't. Here it shows you the current live information once you start accessing the map, which is right here. So 
So if you click that, that's actually not recording. It's just showing you the information. Unlike Uprev that shows you and records at the same time, this is just accessing the ECU to show you the data, but it's not recording at all. And you can see um, messing with the throttle right there. So it's showing you live. You can see the values changing. If you want to record, you have to hit log to file. Once you do that, it turns green. So first, you do have to select map access, then it will let you record, which is log to file. And then I'm messing with the throttle again. If you want to stop recording, you just hit log to file again and it automatically saves it to a specified folder. After that, you can open up your email, drag the file into the email, and send it to your tuner. Once again, they will make the proper revision. They'll send you a new, fi a new file, and you can upload it, which I also have an another YouTube video that shows how to upload that. Your tuner should also explain it, but maybe this video might make it easier for you guys, whether it's for me, another tuner, or for yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and an extra tip right here you see how it's green that means the connection is good between the cable and the usb dongle key if it's red it means it's not connected or something's wrong if it is connected but see i unplugged it so now it's red and you saw it was pretty easy for ecutech it everything's already selected you just hit map access and log and log to stop now let's move on to the second part of logging for Ecutech, the phone app. It works on any phone, uh, a tablet, iPad. So you have your three menus right there. Go ahead and select my car. It's going to connect to your vehicle. And these are your options right here. You can see uh, data log is the third option. And that's the one that you want to select. Once again, it automatically selects everything your tuner needs to see. You see that gear on the upper right. You can select extra parameters there. On the phone app, you actually just only hit start. Once you hit start, it's automatically recording. Unlike if you're on the laptop where you have to select map access, then log on the phone app or a tablet with the Ecutech app, you just hit start and it's automatically going to start recording. So you can see I'm messing with the throttle right there up top. So right now it's recording and you just hit stop and it already saved it and you just back out and go to my files and the log will be there under data logs. So you'll locate the log you just did. It'll allow you to email it directly to your tuner and then whenever they have a chance they'll review it they'll make the proper changes to the tune file and then once the tuner sends you the new tune file you can go ahead and upload it to your ECU and then you guys can repeat the process unless the tune is done and that's it for this data log video hopefully it helped you guys out or even if you're not getting tuned yet at least you can prepare yourself and you can see that's very simple to log